Hello everybody, welcome to this short tutorial on how to remove bad bugs at home using heat. And to do that, you all you need is a regular space heater, such as this one. This is an infrared heater, but any kind of space heater, for example, the oil-filled radiators or um, gas-filled space heaters also work. Okay. So as you all know, bad bugs die at about 140 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 60 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, bad bugs have no chance of survival. So that's the temperature we want to reach. To reach this temperature at home, you have to do the following. Suppose this is your bedroom and this is your bed. This is a closet. Maybe there's a door here, which opens like this. And maybe there's a window here, which opens like this or similar, whatever. And suppose this is your bedroom. You have some things inside and some openings. How do you get it to temperature? Well, first of all, it would be ideal if you have a built-in central heating. Um, for example, a radiator that's that's placed on the wall, which most rooms have. Okay, then you fully turn on this central heating radiator. Of course, it won't reach the target temperature, so we need additional heat. And to do that, we need the, the space heater. And the space heater will help us to, to reach the target temperature because we combine two different heat sources. The central heating usually uses oil or gas and the additional space heater uses electricity. So both heat sources are independent and the heat energy adds up. If we had two electric space heaters, for example, as the sole sources of heat, it would become difficult to heat to that temperature because both heaters draw on the same electric circuit in your home and it could overload the circuit. So you always want to use two independent heat sources. Okay, so we have one heater placed here, which is always there. And then you have an additional space heater. Let's say you place it anywhere where there's lots of space. I would say you could place it here or here, or you could place it here, but then you have to move the closet away. Let's just put it here. So that's the space heater. And you power this on to full temperature. And as we just saw, the, the heat energies of these two heaters, they combine and they add up. And using this setup, you're already really good. However, when you heat your room like this, it could be that, for example, the heat accumulates in this corner of your room because every room is laid out differently. In this case, it, wouldn't, it does not look as if the heat would accumulate in some corner, but some bedrooms might have some room separators here that uh, prevent heat flow or other furniture. So to distribute the heat, you can additionally use a floor fan or a regular standing fan. And let's just place the floor fan here. Actually, it does not really matter where it's placed. I see lots of advice online uh, regarding distributing heat that the placement is very important, but I don't think that for small rooms it matters too much. Let's, okay, but let's assume that we want to maximize the airflow. It won't make a di big difference, um, but let's place it in, in this corner. And this is the floor fan. And this thing is spinning and it blows the air in this direction 
and this causes the hot air to to circulate in that room when you do this then the heat will be evenly distributed also it carries heat away from the space heaters so if they have a built-in thermostat then that thermostat won't prevent it from heating at maximum temperature because if you have a space heater which accumulates hot air around it then at some point it will turn the heat off because it thinks that the room is already at temperature but it is actually not um, since the warm air accumulates around it and you have to blow it off the space heater into the room so that the heater has more capacity to heat. Additionally, what you have to do is the following. In that room, there will be some, some air gaps. For example, below that door. The door obviously has to be closed, so I'll have to remove this. Let's say this is a closed door here. This is a closed door and below that door there, there will be air gaps and through the air gaps there will be cold air entering the room. And if you want to heat that room to a maximum temperature to kill off the bad bugs in your room, then you have to ensure that these air gaps are closed. So what do you have to do? You have to turn on all the heat sources and you have to turn on the the fan or the wind machine, whatever you use. And then you have to leave the room and you close the air gaps below the door. So you use tape or any other tool and, and close the air gaps below the room. And this minimizes the amount of cold air that's entering into the room. So now we have done three things. We have placed heaters that combine with our central heat source to produce the maximum amount of heat. Then we distribute the heat inside the room and we eliminate cold air from entering the room. Now there's one more thing that you have to do which is, as you see, you have furniture in that room and the furniture usually stands at the walls. So it could be that bed bugs hide behind the furniture. And we want to make sure that all the heat reaches all the bed bugs. So we want to ensure that the furniture does not prevent the heat from reaching everything and we ensure that there's a space here. Okay, and that's it. Obviously you can use even more heaters than just two heaters. Ideal, ideally you would use a central heating system, then an electric space heater, and then additionally you would use a gas-fueled heater such as any propane heater you, you get on, on Amazon. So that's the complete strategy to quickly and easily remove bad bugs using heat from your home. That's everything you gotta do when it comes to heating your room. However, bad bugs will survive this attack, probably. If you have all bad bugs in your bedroom and they are all um, accessible through through heating then probably all will die but it could be that because of some circumstances because you skipped a single step or because you missed some part of the tutorial or because you forgot to to ensure that heat reaches below some gaps below the furniture or whatever it could be that 10% or even 5% or 2% of the whole bed bug population survives. And it could be that in some cracks in the wall where the heat doesn't reach, there are still some bed bug eggs. And all of this is problematic because even if you kill 99.9% .9 of the bed bug population in your room, the bed bugs 
will come back if there's a single egg or a single bed bug surviving. So what do you have to do? Heat alone is not sufficient. You have to combine the heat with other methods, such as washing, such as using the proper bed bug killer product, such as removing the right stuff from your room where bed bugs actually hide. And you have to combine all of these methods in order to, to systematically remove the bed bugs from your home. If you heat, some bed bugs could survive. And to get rid of all the bed bugs, you have to ensure that you have a system to systematically also deal with the surviving bed bugs. And I have created such a system for you. It's called the Ultimate Bed Bugs Vanish System. It's a 10 step system where you just have to follow each individual step progressively in order to kill the bed bugs with a system. In the first step, say you kill 80% of the bed bugs. In the second step, you deal with the remaining 20% and kill 80% of that remaining 20%. In the third step, you deal with the remaining population until in the 10th step, there won't be any bed bugs left. I have linked this system in the description down below. You can find it on bedbugsvanish.com. It's very affordable. It's much more affordable than getting a professional pest removal company to do the job for you. Also on top of that 10 step system, I provide you with the products you need, which you maybe already have at home, or you just get them online. They are very affordable. Then I have lists of bed bug hiding spots. I have lists of the cool spots where bed bugs hide after heating your room. Then I have a complete list of things to wash and I have a section on how to cover bed bug bites. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you want to get the ultimate bed bugs vanish system, then check the link in the description down below. It's an incredible deal and it can save you tons of money because not only will it save you the cost of hiring a professional company, no, you will also be able to do everything on your own at your own speed and you will keep the knowledge forever, which is absolutely unique. And whenever you have to deal with bed bugs in your home, which is, I hope, never again. But in case you already know how to deal with the bad bugs and you can apply that system every single time. Also, I give you a 60 days money back guarantee. So there's no risk involved in, in getting the, the 10 step system. Just in case there's anything you don't like about the system or you don't like me or you don't like the way it's written or you don't like the design or you don't like anything, it does not matter. You don't have to justify. There's a no questions asked money back guarantee, which guarantees that you are satisfied with the bad bugs vanish. Okay, I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, then leave a comment in the description down below and see you next time. Thank you.